today we're gonna talk about the five mistakes small businesses make on Instagram and generally online. Mistake number one, not pushing people to your own content. A lot of small businesses oftentimes do something called curating content. Curating content is when you like repost content from other people's pages because it matches your aesthetic look. And that's cool, but what about your content? Like what content are you creating? People are taking a hold of the 80-20 rule where 80% of your content should be curated and 20% created. I actually believe 80% of your content should be created and 20% should be stuff that you're putting together online. There's literally no point of having a brand if all you're gonna do is just be a, unless you're a curator and that's unless that's what your brand is then that would make sense unless you're a curator you should not be curating so much content that's just leading to other people's content if you're in the business of selling things mistake number two a lot of small businesses online believe that the only way they can be successful is if they have 10,000 followers. And yes, having 10,000 followers on Instagram and other platforms does give you access to a lot of tools that would really help you grow. But there's no worse thing than buying your followers. Like, just don't do that. It's just not cute. Number one, we can tell. Number two, just be organic, be yourself. Like you can make a lot of money even having 500 followers, a thousand followers. Like you don't need the whole world to be following you, especially if what you're offering is very niche. You should just be focusing on finding your audience within that niche. Those are the people you should be focused on, not other people who are most likely just going to be watchers. You want buyers, not just watchers. Number three, post a variety of content on your platforms. Do not feel boxed in. Um, with your content, feel free to post lots of different things that helps you tell your small business story, whether it's a service or a product. You shouldn't only be like striving to sell to people super, super hard. People are very weary of being sold to because I think um, consumers are very highly aware if they're being sold on something. Like there's so many ads out there. Everybody's trying to market something. So try to tell a story with why this person may need your product um, or want it. Take number four not engaging with your followers. I cannot tell you how much that would really, really help. So as a consultant, I work with dozens of small businesses and brands. I take free consultations on a daily basis. And sometimes when I'm doing a social media audit of people's pages, I'm like, there's like a hundred unread messages in your DMs. <laughs> like that's not okay as a small business. And you're wondering why you don't have business. You're wondering why people don't want to follow you. Maybe let's start with the people who are actually reaching out to you wanting to ask questions. And I get that sometimes people can be spamming you and things of that nature, but don't allow that to stop you from actually getting to the people who you know want to ask a question, who need support from you, like whatever the case may be. Definitely engage with your followers, respond to every DM, respond to every message, respond to every comment. And if you can't do that, you shouldn't be in business, honey. And lastly, a big mistake I see people using across platforms, not just on Instagram, is people not fully utilizing all of the features and tools that the platform provides your small business to use. For example, Instagram just did a whole rollout of different features that small businesses can use. And that's something that a small business should be looking into monthly. Every month, you should look through the platforms that you're using and see what fe new features are available to you to use. For example, Stories. Stories has been around for a few years now, but I'm not seeing a lot of small businesses fully utilize that to tell their story. Like it's, it's called a story for a reason. This is the place where you can really make it happen because I know that some people don't want to mess up the integrity of their page because their page is some aesthetic thing or whatever. And I totally get that. So Stories is where you should have fun. Stories is where you should be engaging. Stories is where you really can make it. All of the great things in your business happen in terms of showing your personality and connecting with your customers and I'm not be seeing it being utilized a lot and I'm also not seeing it being utilized for the right things. So those are the five mistakes that small businesses make and I hope this was really helpful and if you have any questions feel free to DM us.